Hi everyone, Sarah here. I have a new diamond painting to share with you guys. Um, this is not a new company. This is Riolis. I have reviewed their products before when I first started diamond painting and they contacted me and asked me if I would like to review one of their newer images. So I will share this one with you. Um, here is the information. It is a company from Lithuania. Uh, they do have a website, which I will link below. I'll put the link that they provided for you. There's um, a section in there to find sellers in your area to purchase the diamond paintings because this this is a, a widely known company and so <laughs> they're sold from um, regular stores and stuff. So there's the website. They do have a Facebook and Instagram. Um, I again, I will have the link for you down below. They sent me this beautiful bag, this really nice bag to carry around your projects in. Uh, and they also sent me their catalog. So they started out with cross-stitching. They have really, really gorgeous cross-stitch and embroidery kits. Absolutely beautiful. The details are amazing. And then they started doing diamond painting. So they do have a separate diamond painting um, catalog. And these ones here with the new sign, these are their new releases that they have. They're gorgeous images. They are absolutely beautiful. The colors are amazing. Oops. There's some more new ones on this page here. Just wanna see, the Pansy Medley is the one that I reviewed previously. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's like a beautiful Victorian antiqued image. This is a new one also really nice it was hard to decide very hard and they do have some cutesy little kid type images that are really great little four by four ones to do so very awesome move this out of the way and share with you guys which kit they sent me a really nice box they do have um kind of like a picture guide on how to diamond paint on the back here here is the one that i picked it is Wise Raven. It's so pretty. This lantern and just the glow of the lights. Uh, 27 by 38 centimeters. There's the artist. It's all licensed images. Anna Shevaleva. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Yeah, so let's open this up. Oh. I have to get some scissors. Sorry, there's tape. I did not think of that. All right. Ooh. So good at this. All right. Okay, so that's it from the box. This baggie has our drills, our kit, and everything. So let's open this up first. Don't mind the crinkling. Okay, so we have a set of tweezers, and they are the bent ones. They are very sturdy. Um, not like the other ones that you get from the China kits. These ones are a lot heavier and thicker metal. So it's a nice good pair of tweezers. And then here is the kit. So we have our pink pen with the single and the three placer. We have a stack of baggies, a really good amount of baggies there. We have a blue squishy piece of wax and the green tray. This one, it's not a funnel, but it's open. And then you also have your triangle tray, which I like to use these for trash or for special drills. Those ones are great. So that is your kit. I'll just stick this back in here so I don't lose anything. Then, I don't know if it had this before, but it is a sticker sheet with the legend on it. 
so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty colors. So it's twenty colors. It is all symbols or solid colors. So this dark, dark blue right here is a solid color. And this light blue is a solid color. Um, they do have DMC codes and they have their own codes that they use. Oh, look at that, it's numbered. A01 to A20, duh. <laughs> so you can use this to kit up um, to cut them out. And then the drills are in these strips. Let's see, we start at number one. Just gonna check to make sure we have 20. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 18, 19, 19, and 20. Okay. So we have 20 colors. DMC code is only on the legends, not on the bags. Uh, this is a square drill. The colors are really pretty. The drills are super shiny. From what I remember, the other kit quality was really great. I did get it finished, but I don't think I shared it in the video yet. So maybe when I finish this one, I will share them together because this one is a, a bit smaller. So we have a white, this is 5200 white, really pretty pink, there's purple, pretty like minty teal, and then we have lots of blues. Remember this has a lot of blue colors in it. It's gorgeous, turquoise. And then like ultramarine blue. We've got a navy and then a deeper navy. And then we have some really nice pops of color here. Some green, yellow, orange, well, peachy, and then orange. And then we have some brownish reds. And then the last two blues. There's two of this one and one of that one. So not a lot of colors. But again, the image is really nice. All right, so it is in a plastic baggie. Is a fabric canvas, but it is stiff. Hmm. Flatten that out a little so we can see this, assuming it's instructions. Read the manual to avoid mistakes. Yeah, so it basically just goes through um, how to actually diamond paint for anyone that needs that, how to store it, that type of thing. So this is poured glue. You can see the glue is pretty glossy, nice and thick. Does have some air pockets from when it was rolled, which is what makes it look like there's creases, but they're just air pockets. Does not affect the canvas or the glue or anything, but it's good to flatten them out. Here's my paint spreader here. So again, it is a bit of a stiff canvas, so I will put it underneath my other ones just to get it all flattened out, but you can tell already it's it's flattening pretty fast. So we have the legend on the top right hand corner. There isn't one at the bottom, but again, it's a small canvas, so you don't really need that. And you bring it up here. 
so you guys can see. It looks like there's three solid blues because there is this dark blue and then we have a medium blue and a light blue. Kind of reminds me of Dreamer Designs um, symbols, the way that they're done uh, on like their version one canvases. This area is pretty dark. Definitely gonna need a light pad when I'm doing that just to make sure that I'm not making any mistakes. It is clear. They're not fuzzy or anything, they are clear. It's just that uh, because they're symbols with the, a lot of similar colors, it'll be easier, especially in this top area, to use a light pad. This part here, I'm fine. <laughs> and it's just me, honestly, with my uh, vision <laughs> that I would need a light pad. I'm sure some people would be just fine doing those dark areas. And so it is all labeled with their company, the legend. Um, this is the code for the canvas. Uh, did not have that on the drills. It did have it on the bag. Yeah, so it is on the bag with the name. So if you store it in the bag, you'll be able to match them up again. But that is it. So I will start working on this one to share with you guys the finished project. Thank you to Reolus for sending this to me to review. It looks very cool. You can see the raven, the tree branches, the lantern, and then of course there's a ton of stars in the sky. There is a bit of a house. It's like a, a tower down here. Oh, and a bridge. So there's a, a bit of a bridge and a tower. Awesome. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Take a look. I will link their, their website down below for you. Leave a comment, subscribe, and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.